on YouTube. Um, I got here the video that will walk through setting up or getting an account, getting the software, and uh, the walkthrough for flashing your remote start module. Um, this is going to be the first part you need an account. So the URL here, weblinkupdater.com slash register, you create the account. Uh, once you have that, uh, then you can go ahead and download the software. Um, software is over at this URL, which is weblinkupdater.com slash weblink desktop slash en in this case, English. Um, once you're here, you can choose whether you want Windows or Mac um, application. And then I've already downloaded it. I've already logged in. So I've already installed it, I mean, and, and logged in. Uh, I open my weblink desktop app. Um, this is the screen you get once you've logged in with that account that you created. And in my case, I'm going to go to Weblink Remote Starter RS. And at this point, I've already connected my ADS USB cable and I've connected the four pin connector to my actual uh, CM DC3 module. So as you can see here, I had already flashed this to um, to 2013 Honda CRV previously, but um, if I needed to change that, I could I could go ahead and do that. Um, configure new module, and here I can choose whatever vehicle I'm I'm doing. I just keep it keep it the same. I'm going with the Honda, and well, that's that's not going to give me an option to to do the uh, the same install. Apparently, what happens if I choose a different vehicle? Oh, okay. So if I choose a different vehicle, it'll let me. But I guess because it identified that I already did a Honda. Ah, here we go. So in this case, I'm doing a 2013 CRV with a standard key automatic is the only option. And here I have the option of adding like a drone to do the, uh, what is that, the cell phone app where you can send the signal to start your vehicle using like mobile service. You have to subscribe to that. I'm not doing any of this, so I'm just going to hit save and continue. And it tells me here that they recommend I flash this particular firmware version. And it tells me down here that I have required accessories is the ADS TH3 HA3 T harness kit. So I've shown in a previous video that uh, walkthrough of, of all the supplies that I bought for this installation, and that is um, the harness that I chose. So go ahead and select the firmware that I want. And here, uh, this is this is the quick configuration menu. Um, asks you if you want to allow for the factory remote or the factory uh, key fob to start the vehicle by pressing the lock button three times, or if you want the combination to be lock, unlock, and then lock, or if you just want to disable it. We'll just leave it to lock three times in this case. And then uh, the runtime, 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to head and I'll go through save and go to features menu. And here in the features menu, you've got a bunch of options. Um, I don't really need to change anything at this particular point. I think I'm just going to take everything as it is. Um, but you do have options of changing settings, such as if you want to crank time adjustments, parking light confirmation, like do you want your lights flashing or do you want them on when the car is um, remote started? Uh, a bunch of different little features that you can configure and you know these menus keep going for a bunch of different little items. Um, I'm just going to roll right through all of this. and save. And now we get to the installation resources um, page of the app here. 
And here we've got we got zero videos available, so that they don't have any videos for you um, to actually see what the installation process is like. But we do have guides. So if I look at the install guide, here I've got uh, the installation guide for this vehicle. And this goes through the feature list that is available. Um, and here's the wiring. So using that T-harness, the, the HA3, um, you can see here that these are the connections that have to be made to the vehicle side. And these are the connections that uh, get made to the actual remote start unit. And then over here, we can see that the M2 harness has three cables that might be needed. Lights off, negative. Parking lights, negative. Um, we got the horn cable and the hood switch if the vehicle is not equipped with one. A lot of vehicles do have um, that available through um, like the information, like the vehicle, you know, the CAN bus system usually knows if the vehicle's hood is opened or not. And sometimes depending on the vehicle, that can be uh, used directly without you having to install a hood switch. Um, I keep going here tells you where you can find those, I guess, connections from up here, is it? Ignition switch is A, headlamp switch is B. And so A is in this section and B is over here. And then this second page here is the diagram um, if you didn't have the T-harness, if instead you purchased the wiring harness kit, um, I think they call it the high current, high current kit. Um, I have a link in the description if, if anyone needs it, but uh, this will let you know exactly which cables you need to splice into, tap into to, um, to make the, the connections. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more involved because you do have to, um, you do have to, uh, individually connect every single cable that's listed here. Um, whereas the T-harness allows you to kind of do that plug and play. And then on this next page here, it gives you the programming steps once you've wired everything up and you need to um, use the key and the ignition to actually program the remote start. Um, takeover procedure. And just some checklist here, so pretty good info. And then if we go over here to the center area, we've got um, the wiring information. And here it'll let you know, okay, we've got, you know, 12 volt cable, ignition cable, ignition or interrupt. And each one of these has this little photo link over here, so you can actually see uh, that's the vehicle. Here's the horn cables area. Here's the ignition switch. Here's what the harnesses look like once you're inside. You know, here's the individual harness on the vehicle and which cables which. So you got here, you know, your 12 volt. Red is ignition. Green is your starter cable. This blue is your accessory cable. And gives you great information here on how to identify them so that's always helpful um, and then the last step after you know you can save this stuff and reference it later and go to flash and now that I've got everything just click flash your device and it'll go ahead and flash my um, remote start module with uh, everything I selected and that's pretty much it after this you can go ahead and uh, prepare yourself to, to do the install. So that'll be the next video we got coming up. Thanks.